Hey guys, this is Henry from Obedia again. Today we're going to keep working in Pro Tools and uh, we're going to be demonstrating the use of the Chord Ruler in Pro Tools. So, let's say that you're working on a song that you're producing, a uh, song that you just wrote, and you want to send this to a guitar player or a bass player. You have two options. You can send the session and if you have a score you could send the score so they know what to play or you could also use the chord ruler to place um, a visual cue like a visual stamp of which chord is going to be played on which part so this uh, musician let's say the guitar player or the keyboard player or the bass player uh, this person will know just by looking at the timeline, which is the next score that's going to happen so they can be prepared to play it. Okay, so that's, it's kind of like the the um, key ruler that we talked before that basically tells you what's what's going to be the, the key, but in this case, we go uh, one step further into the actual chords, okay? So, you know, if you have a C major chord and then a D minor and then a, a G major chord, this the the person that is going to be playing will see that like it's going to be a visual cue they'll know for a fact okay the next one is going to be a d major so i need to be ready because it's going to happen let's say in bar seven so they'll know when to switch okay this makes the recording procedure way faster because um they don't have to read a score uh, an actual piece of paper uh but they can just look at the screen and they'll just have it right there okay um, so the same screen will they'll, they'll see their waveforms and they'll check their levels. It's the same screen where they're, they're going to be looking at the chords. So uh, it's just another way to make this whole procedure uh, faster. Okay. So how do you do that? Well, first of all, we need to open the actual chord ruler. Uh, we need to show it by clicking here on this black arrow uh, top left of the screen. And then here's our chords ruler. If we click there, we check it. Here's our chords ruler. As you can see, there's no chords assigned to it. By default, it comes with no chords, so you have to add them. So let's say, as you can see, we have a part here that has these guitars, and then we have this other part where this third guitar happens. So let's suppose that this part, this four, um, let's say, uh, repetitions where all D major, just to set chord. Let's say this was all D major, this four. Uh, starting on bar three. So if you're in grid mode, you basically click on that bar three, so your playback is there. And then here in chords, you click on that plus sign. We said it was gonna be a D major, so as soon as we click on that plus sign, the chord change window opens, and here you select the chord. It's gonna be a D major. It'll also let you say which bass chord it's going to be. Let's suppose it's going to be a D major, or sorry, a D chord also. And then we have uh, the ability to select from these uh, diagrams what kind of D major chord do you want. Let's say it was this one, the very first one. Okay. So we can see there's a D major there. So we say we're going to have four of those, and then let's switch to, let's say, E minor here. Uh, this is measure or bar 11, so we click there, so our playback is there. We go back to chords and click on that plus sign, and let's make it E minor. Let's make the bass also E, and then we'll select this diagram. So, so as you can see, it goes from D to E minor, and then let's suppose this last last one, Let's let's do another chord here. Uh, this is 17, so we go back to chord, click on that plus, let's make something different, like an F, you know, F7, F7, and then we press OK, so it goes from D to E minor to F7, and then this last part, it's all going to be D minor, so we go back to chords, plus D minor, Bass is also going to be D, and then we'll select this second one. So, what happens here? Um, 
we have the session and the course are here. They're written. So what you would do is that you would save this session, send this session with all the associated files to the musician. Let's say it's a guy or, or a, uh, let's say it's a person that is recording um, an acoustic guitar. You would send this session just like it is here. They would create a new track where they'll record their acoustic and they would be looking at this chord. So, you know, if the playback starts in, in you know, bar one, when he's on bar two, he can be looking at here. He can be looking at this, this D chord. So he knows from bar two, like, that on bar three, it's going to be a D chord. So he can be ready for that. Same thing. Um, he's playing, you know, this D major chords, D major, D major, D major. And when he gets to, let's say, this spot, he can basically just look up. And there it is. Okay, it's going to be an E minor. So he'll switch, he or she uh, will switch um, to the new D minor position and then start playing the, that E minor. So once again, it's just a visual cue that tells you uh, what's going on. Um, and it'll definitely help you in learning the song and playing and recording it faster. So that's the chord ruler in Pro Tools. If you have any other questions, please call us from Obedient PC Audio Labs, and we're going to be happy to help you. We'll see you guys soon. Bye-bye. Want to learn how to produce music using this, or using that, or using all of these? Have you been watching videos, reading manuals, blogs, and trying to figure out everything that it takes to be a music producer? Do you have a bunch of music gear that you purchased and you still haven't made any music? Well, then you need Obedia, the world's only one-on-one -on -one digital audio training and tech support service. Check out the link below for a special new subscriber offer.